now. Good morning. I'm Blaze Lovell with Paradise Marketing LLC. And first of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming here today. It must have been very long listening to all our presentations, but I'm sure you all benefit greatly from it. So let's hop right into it. Um, first of all, I'd like to go over the company's situation with going into UNLV so that the investors will know what they're getting themselves into. First of all, we have many strengths. Kona Ice has many strengths. One of which is their speed of service, able to produce 500 cups of shaved ice per hour. That's unprecedented and no one, no other shaved company is able to do that. And they also have a well-documented company record. So this is good for investors because they know that what they're investing in won't just bomb in a couple months. They have a track record for making good profits and have a good community foundation. Also, after conducting some minor market research on campus, I found that there is a great population of people that would love to have a shave ice stand on campus. You know, I mean, we're in Las Vegas, it's like 140 degrees during the summer. It's crazy hot. What I also found is people would be willing to even have shave ice on campus during the colder winter months. Though it is cold, some days can still be rather warm. Like this winter, it wasn't too cold despite that um, sharp snowstorm we had. Which brings me to our weaknesses, which is summer and winter. The thing about shave ice is that it's rather dependent on the weather, as I was saying. In the summer, it's hot and people love to have it. But the problem with opening on UNLV's campus is that there's no students on campus during the summer, except for those taking summer school. I'll address that issue later on in the presentation. During the winter, sometimes it's too cold to serve shave ice, though, as my research shows, some people would still be willing to have it on campus during those sunny days. and. Some of them said they would even have it on a snowy day because they're from Alaska, so <laughs> they're used to that kind of thing. There are also many opportunities for expansion on UNLV's campus. We have approximately 28,000 students here, that's including undergraduates and the graduate population. Also, Hawaiians, we love our shave ice. Hawaii is the third largest represented group on campus, so there's a market for that there. Also, there is a recent vacancy in the student union. So in the future, if Kona Ice ever wanted to move into a more permanent location, they would have the option of doing that, rather than just having a truck that needs to be driven to campus whenever they're open. Also, we have a great opportunity to build relationships with our student organizations on campus. This relates to how Kona Ice always um, wants to give back to its community through fundraisers and various events. And a fundraising campaign that my team has come up with, it's a very, very rough draft. It's the Rebels and Penguins RSO Partnership and Fundraising. So basically, it's just a, this is a very, very rough draft of a fundraiser that we can do for sororities, fraternities, various social clubs. You know, everyone would love to have Shea Weiss after a sporting event, doing some kind of club function. And we could give them an incentive, like receive a 5% discount if put before spring. Of course, that would be relevant to the time, depending on when this campaign is launched. There is always some threats with opening any business anywhere. Specifically now, there's food trucks on campus, but they're not as big as, as a threat since the product is different. More of a threat would be the new frozen yogurt stand that opened in the SU, or places like Jama Juice, those that serve cold treats. Also, there's no students during the winter break. So during the um, month, through mid-December to mid-January, there wouldn't be a large population to serve on campus. And there's only a small amount of students during the summer for summer school. However, you could use that as an opportunity to build relations with the community here so that the other four um, trucks in the Las Vegas area could cover different events. And this one could be used during the summer to cover events in East Las Vegas. My proposal is to have one park placed in a high traffic area. This is a this is the high traffic area I'm talking about. It's by the lead library. It's close to where the other food trucks are, and there's a lot of students that walk past this area, specifically between the hours of 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. This is to catch the lunchtime rush, and it's usually the hottest hours during the day. The truck will be run by two to three workers at nine dollars and twenty-five cents an hour. It's a dollar above minimum wage, and they would track their sales and performing with the POS and debit card system. Also, by having a presence on campus, we hope that Connor Shavelis will be able to build a really good relationship with UNLV so that UNLV